There is something about sitting down and watching a film of homemade nachos. Or the ultimate nachos with guacamole, homemade tomato relish, sour cream, and three different layers of cheese. Okay, so ultimate nachos need three ultimate things. We've got guacamole, we've got tomato relish, and we want layers and layers of different cheeses. First up, we're gonna get on with our tomato relish. That's gonna be the longest thing. So we're gonna get the oven up to about 180 Celsius. And while that's coming up to heat, we're gonna grab ourselves a baking tin, and we're gonna scatter a load of cherry tomatoes over the top. We have got three cloves of garlic. Just peel these open. I'm gonna really finely slice these. This recipe itself, my wife and I do date night in London, it's something called the Electric Cinema in Shoreditch. And it's got, what I have to say, pre this was the best nachos that I've ever had. They are just simply brilliant. So I've been set about trying to recreate that recipe here with my own home done version. And I think this trumps it. Yeah, it does, I think it's better. And once we've got those three cloves nicely cut, we are just gonna mince this up. And then we're just gonna scatter this over the top of the tomatoes. We wanna season, so generous pinch of pepper just over the top. And again, generous portion of salt just over the top. We've got one red onion. And again, we're just gonna finely chop this as well. And you're just gonna scatter that onion just over the top. We're gonna take a small amount of coriander and I wanna really nicely chop that up. Oils, so we have got a good quality olive oil. Just gonna drizzle that over the top. And then lastly, we're gonna douse this with a good amount of balsamic vinegar. That's it. You've got all those lovely fragrances there. You've got the coriander, which you can use parsley in there if you don't like coriander, it works just as well. The tomato is gonna pop, we're gonna give that a quick blitz and that's gonna be a perfect relish. Into the oven, 180 Celsius for around 20 to 25 minutes. So while that's cooking away, we are gonna get on with one of the best guacs that I've ever made. And it is a simple little recipe, just a few little changes with a bit of lemon instead of just too much lime. And, and this works so, so well. So we've got ourselves a blender. I'm gonna use three avocados for this. We're just gonna kick that stone out of the middle. Oh, I love it when you get three good ones in a row. Such a rarity these days. And then just using a spoon, we're simply gonna take the flesh out and we're gonna go into the blender. We have got the other half of the red onion that we had. Chop that. And the rest of that can go in just in little segments. We have got some spring onion, two ends off and that can go straight in. We've got three cloves of garlic. Over here, we've got some various ingredients that we wanna sort of add into this to make it the ultimate. Now I'm gonna want a little bit of heat through here. So I'm gonna take some chili. I'm gonna add a couple of those. We're gonna use the juice of one lime. And then I'm gonna add a lemon. The lemon just really works with the, the little bit of heat going through there. We've got a good handful of our coriander. Literally just gonna whack that, stalks and all, and that can go straight in. I'm gonna season, so generous pinch of salt, generous portion of pepper, and then finally we want a good glug of our olive oil. On with our lid and give this a rough chop. We don't want to blitz this so it's really mushy. We want to have some nice texture in there as well. So just nice little blitzers. And that is what you're looking for. We're going to take this out and tip this into one of our bowls. That is the perfect. Hands down best guac around. So that's our guac, that is done. Our tomatoes are still in the oven roasting away. We're gonna get on with our layers of cheesy tortillas. First up, the very first thing we do is gonna put a very thin layer of mozzarella because I want layers and I wanna make sure that each one is like almost like a lasagna piece when you pull the tortilla out, it's gonna have a lovely bit of cheese on there as well. A layer of tortillas over the top, 
second layer is mature cheddar. Another layer of tortillas. And then a good handful of our mozzarella. And then with this layer, we're gonna put some torn pieces of buffalo mozzarella in here. And you're just gonna dot them around. And what that's gonna do is, you're gonna get these beautiful pieces where you pull out one of the crisps and they've just got this whole layer of cheesy stringiness going over the top. Final layer of our crisp just over the top, and then our final layer of mozzarella just over the top as well. That's it, no more cheese on there. We don't wanna get any soggy bottoms on this one. And that can go into the oven at 180 Celsius while we get the tomatoes out and blitz them for our relish. We're only gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. And you can see here, we have got our beautiful tomatoes. We've got a little bit of brown sugar here. And we're just gonna sprinkle that just lightly over the top. As that is beautiful, you can just chop that up if you just like it quite rustic. We're just gonna give this a quick blitz in the blender. That is our tomato relish. Right, ultimate nacho time. Let's get these out of the oven. Just look here. This is what you're looking for. You're looking for the different types of cheese and the different types of melts, and you want them to stringy pull away like this. We're gonna add some of our tomato relish. I put some of this to one corner, and that's the dipping corner. Other side, over here, we're gonna add our guac. And then finally, to finish this off, our cooling element, we've just got some sour cream, which we're just gonna dunk down this corner here. And there we go. That is my ultimate nachos. You've got all these different layers of cheese down here. Just look at this. All these bits of cheese, you just wanna snap some of that off. Dip it into the relish, dip it into the guac, They're just the best. I've got nothing else to say about this situation. They are the best nachos on YouTube. It's a fact, get recreating it. Get hashtagging me as always with Haste Kitchen. Please tell everyone about the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye-bye.